Come here now, girl. Hello guys, today I'm going to be telling you how to run Windows games on a Mac. It's very much possible without going to boot camp assistant and then logging up to Windows, giving a disk partition, which sounds bad, ain't that bad, but bad at the cost of 250 GB. Well, 250 GB, see, as we can see, just 250 GB. Well, I'm gonna use this thing low specs 1.2 gigahertz Intel Core i5 no hyper trading supported 4 GB 1600 megahertz DDR3 no ultra settings supported no work locking is there on this Mac right over here but what can we say we can't say anything for a Mac at this specs it will not run Cheaty San Andreas on a normal Windows computer, but on Mac OS X, using the software that I will tell you just in a second, will run GT San Andreas properly. How can there be two? I double clicked it and Boom, we have GDS and Andreas right here. And the videos may not be played, then you just need to click on the space bar on some games, not all games. For example, on the Assassin's Creed Syndicate, it runs well. That is some serious lag well probably because I'm rendering stuff right now. But without any background process, I assure you it will run completely fine. I'm rendering a video right now. But oh. This is awful. That is the only reason it's been running so worse. I'll show you even later on. Do not worry, guys. with 10 runs well making the video it's taking a lot of data so that's the reason well however let's just move on and um, you need to get the software called one it's awesome get the latest version of course well what it does is runs a Windows matrix installed to boot cam already so it just fires it up on a Mac one Windows software on another operating system so it will not just run games it will run any software for example I have all the debug that I use in order to crack um, stuff I have this so. so if it for example wine also gives you anything that is required okay it's not like anything that is required means any data that is required for something to run, for example, it requires this thing. Click open and it boom, it gives the stuff. So, that's just the point. So, <clears throat> if you quit wine, everything that has been run by wine will also quit. Well, in order to get wine, all you need to do is go to winehq.org, the links will be in the description. And download a stable latest version. Do not download the development version as it will have a lot of bugs. <clears throat> that will be hard for you to encounter. 
M script added not required. These all are not required. No, no, this is required. NVIDIA thing G4 GDS 250, but not that important. These are all not required to run the best best games. So who cares? And just click on that stable version and choose the one. Go download and. And yes, that website may have a lot of stuff. I mean, a lot of ads, not stuff. I'm a fool, sorry. So once it is downloaded, we will expand one. Once done. Double click on it. Sorry, I have already wine in there, so it did not ask for installation, otherwise, it would completely ask for installation. So, so you're gonna click on this configure, click open. Once everything is done, deleting expired stations, none found. So, that is because I already have wine. This wine clashes with the new wine to install but you will not require to update this wine at all not at all so that is showing off that means it has taken that much memory in order to run the game so unless you run a 104 GB plus game you will not require updates okay so 1.8.2 is an awesome version you won't need to do anything whatsoever so thank you for watching this video guys if you like please subscribe and like if you dislike it dislike it then Thank you for tuning in, share that kind of stuff helps a lot, peace.